What's up, guys? This is Review Box, and today we are reviewing Creed Three. I low key forgot for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Creed Three, baby. And you know what? I don't even think we did this in the first episode. I'm Nick. I'm Sinjin. <laughs> and this is Review Box. Welcome. Take a seat. Put the hey, fucking for those of you that are vocabulary impaired, just call me Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> Or Sin G. Oh, fucking don't call me that. That's my. It's my favorite. <laughs> if I Josh ever, hates it. If I see you in person, you call me Sin G, and you're not Nick. You're getting punched in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I had a I had a fight for that name. So, anyways, well, fourteen years of work put in on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah. Today is Creed three, and you know what, guys? Fucking amazing. I get it. It fucking came out a while ago, but baby. This is a new pod. <laughs> we're, we're working on it. We're late to the game show. Our first pod was about a show from 15 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> 18 years ago. But, uh, yeah. Put, put it this way. The, last, the, the show we reviewed on our first episode is old enough to get a fucking license. I was eight years old. No, I wasn't. I was seven. I don't know. I no, can't I do math. No, I was seven. Oh, then I was eight. Yeah. Anyways, guys. <laughs> I don't think our math is math and correct, but whatever. Yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> Creed three, everybody, Creed fucking three. If you haven't seen it, spoilers are coming your way. Exactly. If you haven't seen it, just you know you're fucking up in life. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. So, do you want to give the breakdown of what Creed three is about? Do you want me to do that, or what would you what would you like to start with? I mean, I did it last time, so you could do it. I mean, I feel like there's not much to explain. There's already a one and two, and if you don't know it's about boxing, then you're really it's about fucking boxing? up your life. <laughs> no, <laughs> thought he was a. Uh, never mind. I was gonna do a joke. I couldn't do it. Wasn't funny. <laughs> as simple as that. So, anyways, Creed Creed three, everybody. So we got Apollo Creed, and basically in this movie, it's the third one. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so basically, he's you know he's he's fucking done it all. He's done it all. He's He's a retired uh, boxer. He's and, basically Mayweather in this movie. And he's like, you know, he's retired and, you know, he's basically just letting like the youngins come up and he runs into a fucking friend. Like he runs into someone in the parking lot and at first doesn't know who he is. And it's his fucking homie from way back when. It low key, it comes full circle. Because in the original Rocky movies, he had, you know, his, the, his old coach that taught Rocky. He had uh, Creed, who taught Rocky. And then Creed teaches, a, uh, no, Creed. Uh, Rocky teaches Adonis, becomes the teacher. And then in this one, Adonis is becoming the teacher. To uh, to the, the one guy who's already champ, right? Yeah, I can't remember That his just name. gets beat the fuck up. Yeah, literally gets his shit rock yeah so you know what just to sum it up i i'm not gonna go too deep on like the story story i even though it is a review but um (laughs) yeah basically he runs into an old friend that they were like they were brothers they they were fucking crazy and this guy was actually a boxer before uh adonis was and um you know he's basically like hey man i just got out of prison and i deserve to be the fucking (laughs) champ and like and the, the Creed's See, like, I want to be the forty-year-old champ. Yeah, yeah. And Creed's like, everybody hold the fucking phone. So, basically, what I liked about that movie, let's get in right now. We'll get into what we liked. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll go first. You go, and so forth, so forth. So, what I liked about that movie, what it was fucking Michael Michael B. Jordan's performance, dude, fucking fire. That fool kills everything he does, dude. He is like. Dude, like uh, Killmonger in Black Panther, he was amazing. He was fucking sick. He was fucking sick. And the Creed movie's fucking sick. Like, like put it this way, I'm a fan of him. That when he comes out with another movie, even it, like if he like stars in a movie, I want to go watch it because of him. Like, yeah, I want to go see it because because he's in it. I'm like, All right, let's go see what he does. There's so many actors like that where you're yeah. just like, I got to see like I don't even care about like it's like a movie you wouldn't normally watch, but yeah. you're like, but he's in it, so it's got to be good. Yeah. So, it was fun. yeah, like I just watched Air, which is like the movie about how Nike Oh yeah. Signed Michael Jordan. Dude, we literally talked about this right before the podcast. I was like, what the fuck is Air? Yeah, and honestly, 
I went to go watch that movie because I, I know it sounds funny, but I was like, oh, I was like Ben Affleck, Matt Damon. I was like the one guy from uh, from Horrible Bosses slash uh, fuck slash that one show that Ozarks. I was like, all right, I'll go see it. And dude, that movie was fucking phenomenal. And I did, you know, Ben Affleck directed it. I did not know that. Yeah, I think it was. His, I I'm not too sure, but it might have been his first movie he directed. Dude, I want to see Air. Now, oh, it's now not that we're his talking about it. Let's go see it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, anyways, I'm sorry. I go off track. So long story short, Creed 3, fucking phenomenal. I loved Michael B. Jordan's performance. I can't – I forgot her name. I like her performance. It's all good, dude. I feel like the characters were – every character was pretty solid. Yeah. And Jonathan Majors. I think that's his last name is Majors. The best friend? Yeah, which is – oh, my God. His name is fucking – what's his name in the movie? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, is something so? It's a nickname. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, something, something. Uh, it is Damien. It's Damien. Not a fucking nickname. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I think it's like Di- Damon, Damien, Damon, Damien. Jesus Christ. Damon. Thank you. <laughs> so, anyways, let's just. I'm just gonna talk about his performance in the movie because have you heard what's been going on with him? No. Okay. It's Why pretty is he in fucking trouble? bad. Yeah, it's pretty fucking bad. It's always like right but, after But you know what? Movie. I don't know. It's an accusation right now. This is not what this pod is about. I just want to talk about Creed 3. So anyways, he fucking killed it in that role. That motherfucker. Dude, that motherfucker. He did. That Damien is a fucking badass motherfucker in that movie. I love So this is when when people pick villains for movies like the antagonist, I'm always like I know they did an amazing job when I fucking hate their guts. I'm like, they did a great job because, you know, in not in this particular case, but usually it's like, oh, because, you know, that person's probably like really nice in real life. And then in the show, you're like, I fucking hate him. I swear to I swear. A hundred percent. I totally agree with you on that. Like, obviously, you've seen Breaking Bad. Like, yeah. And then okay, like Skyler. Fuck Skyler. His I wife. Forgot. Oh, yeah. Fuck his wife. Now, the actor who plays Skyler, she's cool. Yeah. Because she did such a good job at her fucking job of acting as Skyler. You know, people tend to not detach that. Yeah. Like, that's what makes it good. You know what's Like, so I funny? hate Gemma. I oh, fucking hate no. Gemma from Sons of I Anarchy. Hate, I hate but, her. Look, 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 tie it back, tie it back. Creed 3. So, I actually... I actually, you know what? I'm actually different. I think an antagonist. I think they do a good job when you like almost feel for them in a sense, even though they're still kind of wrong mm-hmm. in a way. Cause like you're dude, like, I get what they're doing it for, dude. Cause like I yeah, cause I love the whole story. If he was like, he's like he was basically how he was telling like uh, Adonis is like girl, like you know, like you know, like you know how it feels to see someone else in your shoes in a sense. Like, yeah. He should have been fucking champ. This, this, and that. Spoiler alert. The reason why he got locked up is basically for backing up Adonis yeah. when they were kids because they were in foster care and their their foster father was abusing them. So Adonis runs into him later. He starts beating the shit out of him. And then the dude, like the dead beats, homies pull up, but then Damien pulls up with the gun and gets locked up and so forth, so forth. But Adonis got away because he ran. Because he ran, and basically that's what he's facing. And you know what? Oh, my fucking God. See, yeah, Another shout-out to Michael B. Jordan because he fucking directed it. I thought he was a producer. No, he. this was his, his, this was his debut film. That's and And crazy. he's such a badass because he's inspired by anime. Like you saw, <laughs> you saw the Dragon Ball Z reference. Like, yeah, because I, I saw pictures after. There's a Naruto reference and a Dragon Ball Z reference. The the Dragon Ball Z one is when Adonis gets socked and it zooms into like his stomach and the sweat on his back uh-huh. because that's you know that was like when I believe Goku socked Frieza yeah and then when they both socked each other that's Naruto and Sasuke. Sasuke yeah so fucking fire and then like. It's just so fire because the cinema. Cinef- it would have been funny if both their hands exploded. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be funny like you fucking were sin gone and <laughs> but out of nowhere. Anyways, uh, it's just like. Or like, oh, you know what? Another reference God was. Damn, the movie was that good. Yeah, <laughs> like, another, remember at the end when they're fighting each other and everybody just disappears in the background. Yeah. And it was just quiet. 
I swear that is another scene from one of Naruto and Sasuke's fights where everything just disappears around them. Yes, dude. That I, I heard him talk about like you know, watching animes when they do that final fight, like they're so locked in on each other that it's like that's the only thing that's important. Mm-hmm. Like ah, that movie was so fucking good. And dude. like the the way Damien fought when he first started fighting the one dude, like he, he's like he a was dirt, going he was crazy. dirty and he was <laughs> but it was so fucking sick. This bro. movie he was treating the fight like he was in the street. Like, he was just doing some dirty shit. And I don't get what, like, obviously the ro- the ref saw them, saw him do it. Yeah, yeah, that was a little weird. I was like, how, this is like his first pro fight and the ref's like. <laughs> <laughs> the ref's like, oh, come on, man. Like, can't. Uh, this is his first fight, it happens. Yeah, like, you can't <laughs> act like that. Oh, Jesus. He got one warning and he did it like seven times. Didn't, didn't they take points? Like, did no. they take point? Maybe. I could have sworn no, he just got a warning. No, I think he got a warning, and then he did something else, then they took a point. And then that's that, – because that, that's when a, um, the guy's coach was like, that's right, ref. Like, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Get some bullshit. Like fine. It was so funny, too, because it was, like – it was supposed to be that other fighter's, like, debut. Like, he was supposed to make it. And obviously Adonis is rooting for him because he's his coach. But he's also, like, feeling kind of bad because, you know, that's also his friend on the other side of it. Yeah, that was, like, you know what, though? Like, now looking back at it, Adonis is kind of a punk bitch for that. (laughs) Because, like, you know, that was his fucking homie he grew up with, like, that deserved that spotlight. And, you know, he he fucking won, but it just... I think that's why the movie's so good because it's like mm. he won, but he did fight so dirty. Yeah. And he fucking, but he won. And the best part was he tried that with uh, Creed too. He tried to fight dirty with Adonis. Oh, yeah. But Adonis was like, I'm just going to take that shit and give it right back to you. But yeah. he didn't fight dirty, but he was like. Fuck. And dude, like when they got to that final fight, like that shit was fucking sick. Mm hmm. That was sick. One of um, my favorites. Anything else you want to add on to like, what you like about it? Um, dude, we, we've just been praising Michael B. Jordan for like the last I think my years. favorite part, my favorite thing about the entire movie was that I got to see it with you. <laughs> Love. <laughs> but Friendship. Exactly. Keep your friends close. <laughs> Jesus. Because um, you might end up fighting them in a pro fight at the end of the day. <laughs> at the Dodger Stadium. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Was it at the Dodger Stadium? Oh, it was. It was. <sighs> So this would be such a banger. Now, what I didn't like. I didn't like that the mom died. I, I did not need that. <laughs> <laughs> that was something what? I could have done without. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's very interesting. What um what I didn't like, and it kind of just sound like I just sound like one of those like spoiled fanboys. Cause you know what? Now I'm a fan I'm a fan of Michael B. Jordan's work. And it's just like Dude, have you seen No Mercy? No, I haven't. Such a good. He's a lawyer in that one, and like, I don't know, sometime. Oh, no, but no, no, he, no, no, it was I saw really the trailer good. For it. I saw the trailer for it. Okay, I got, I got to watch that. He was like in out. He he no, transfers I to want, Alabama. Yes. No, I wanted to watch that movie. Now that so I think good. About it. Okay. Don't it's, I have you on YouTube? Yeah, I bought it on YouTube. You should. Have okay. It. Well then, shit. There we go, baby. <laughs> you guys hear that? Um. So basically, uh, what I didn't like about the movie. Is that like, okay, I, I get it. Like, it's far fetched that he got the title shot so quick mm-hmm. because, like, I don't I, know. Like, watch, it happened like within a week. Like, yeah, like watching UFC, like, I get it. Like, when they scramble for challengers, but like, maybe boxing's different. But like, you know, in UFC, there's. There's the champion, and then there's 15 other fighters trying to get to the champion. Mm-hmm. So you're telling me that, like, you know, you know, for example, number one couldn't fight, and then, like, you know, there's like no yeah. one else to really. They literally from? they went through the entire list, and they're like, "There's nobody." And maybe because it was so last second, too. I don't know. Obviously, it's a movie, but it's crazy too because it's like you're telling me. Everybody in the entire league, there's nobody that could do it. Yeah, and yeah, it is which didn't make sense because it wasn't like they couldn't do it. It was like their excuse was more like it's such a short time frame to get ready. True, and then like 
they were like, oh, it's going to sell because it's like this like underdog nobody from the streets. I, it, it's, inter- it's interesting. I'll give it that. But then what was what I didn't like is um, I wish – I was probably asking for a lot, but I wish like they showed Damien fight more people. Like, well, like Adonis was just kind of watching in the background. And like, for example, you know, like when they got to that fight, fucking Damien's like – Five and oh, like a couple fights, like you know, yeah, some time as champ. Like, all he did was spar, yeah, and then he went immediately to a title fight, and then and then literally defend defends it once against, like, you know, and then in, in that universe, one of the greatest, <laughs> and then yeah. fucking loses it. And like, it was so quick, it was like a two week span that this fool won it and lost it, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, for being so old. Well, probably more. Nah, dude. I, I think it just, I think it went unsaid because mm-hmm. remember like when Adonis was training, he got beat the fuck up by uh, uh, yeah. what's his face. It was like months. You know what? Obviously, you know, this is our movie reviews, but, um, or what, what else do you not like? Or, cause honestly, the only thing I liked is I just wish there was more. So it's like, I guess it was, you know, it's not I, a bad thing, but. I wish his, his oh, yeah, training montage was a little bit more intense because it felt like less intense than the second movie. Mm, true, the second movie. Because I mean, I get it. He was you know retired, so he was rusty or whatever. But in this one, it just seemed like you know he's just trying to get back in shape. Which I mean, obviously, because he hadn't fought in however long it was between two and three. But in two, his shit was intense. Another thing I didn't like is that they didn't bring back Rocky. Yeah, that's very true. A lot of people felt like that, but I don't know the pot like my knowledge. I don't know the politics around it, but I guess there's there's someone that's involved with like the Rocky Creed franchise mm-hmm. that the Rocky actor, um, Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone, thank you. Fucking hates that guy because oh. they're in a continuous battles for the rights for Rocky. It's a whole thing. I, I got to look more into oh, it. Oh, yeah, because uh, Sylvester Stallone's the one that wrote the first Rocky movie. I'm not too sure, but yeah. Yeah, Sylvester okay. Stallone wrote the first. That's, uh, he wrote it, and then he, like, a bunch of people wanted to buy it, but he was, like, because no one wanted him to act in it. So he basically, like, just got someone to, like, pay the front the money i guess like okay. a studio to front the money to make the movie and then they made it and you know now it's a cult classic or whatever that's how he made his name yeah damn so to to kind of like start to wrap it up where do you put three between one and two how would you how would you rate how would you rank one two and three like by favorites yeah fuck yeah because now i'm thinking about it Two would be number one for me. Okay. And then I think three would be two. And then one would be last. Okay. Interesting. I feel okay. So here's my thing for two being number one is because it was so action packed. It was so dope. The fights were insane. Like it was, he was, he was so cocky because he had won or he had his title fights or whatever from the first movie. So he was like, he had to get humbled. He had to do all his training. And that was good. I loved that. That was like my all time favorite. And then on three was dope because we got more backstory about his life before his mom took him in. Yeah. So I liked the storyline behind all that, showing like, oh, who he grew up with, why he was so angry all the time, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And then one, you know, I just have to put it at last because, you know, it's the first one that. There were some, you know, rocky areas, but it was good. <laughs> There's some rocky areas with Rocky. That's an interesting take on it. I would go. I would I would put three mine as my number one. I would go because of the fight scenes, huh? Yeah, and and the story, cause like it was. It's like I don't know. It's like not having Rocky there was both like a pro and a con. In a sense, uh-huh. obviously, I get you know the whole bullshit, but in reality, say if Rocky was distant, Rocky would have been in the movie for for the mom's the mom's funeral. Yeah, that that, that that's at least being, a Zoom call. Yeah, like, 
<laughs> like he's on the laptop and they're like lowering the fucking grave. Exactly. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. <laughs> so there's that, but um I would go Creed three is my number one, Creed one is my number two, Creed two is as my number three. Mm-hmm. And you know what? That's actually hard because Creed two does go fucking hard. It does. Because like it's connected, you know, obviously his father's legacy. Yeah, his father's legacy again, but so much so it's because like, you know, he's literally fighting the guy's kid who killed his dad. So like it, yeah. is, it is deep. But see the third one is like his legacy. You know what's like, so funny? Apollo's legacy, like the third movie was showing that like no, I am fucking like I am Adonis Creed because I can fucking do like this and then basically fights the one guy that's like like showed it. I don't know. It's just so it's so good. So that's how I would just rank them. So what were you gonna say before we get to the final part? I just recently watched the Rocky movies. Where would you rank Creed three among the Rocky movies? Fuck all eight of them. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Not all eight of them, but just like the saying. first one. Where would I throw the first Rocky movie in with the three Creed movies? I guess, yeah, that'd be easier. It's a weird take, though. So I said t- two, three, one. I would say cause the Rocky movie is pretty lit. Um, I'd probably throw it, like, it would be Creed 3, then Creed 2, then Rocky, then Creed 1. Okay. Interesting. Because, you know, back in the 80s, fucking, the fight scenes weren't all that great. <laughs> yeah, true, true for the time. I feel like... The Creed movies are going to hold up. And not even only that. Like, I get it. His training montage is like, uh, what's the word? Uh, <laughs> Spectacular? No, it's like when people remember it all crazy. Nostalgia? Yeah. Nostalgic, nostalgic or yeah. whatever. But it's like, all he does is run up some steps and hit some meat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's <laughs> all he fucking does. <laughs> this food just runs up the stairs and then beats meat. Like, the fuck? I don't <laughs> Runs up the stairs and beats me. It's the title of the episode. No, yep. <laughs> Jesus. So let's, uh, you know, f- wrap it up. Um, you know what could have made uh, Creed 3 better? Oh, what? If Jason Lee Scott was there as My Name is Earl and Earl I'm won that money. <laughs> yeah, that's our new thing. My name, like, Jason Lee has to be in all of them. Are you calling him Jason Lee Scott? Yeah, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Isn't it just Jason Lee? Yeah, it's just Jason Lee. <laughs> okay. I don't know where Scott came from. <laughs> I was like, what? Got, there is an actor he named... Got, he J- got married? <laughs> no, there is a Jason Lee Scott, but I, that's not... I, I just threw it in there at Jamie the end. Jamie Lee Curtis? No, what? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking <laughs> with you. Um, where, okay, so now what would you rate Creed 3? I was about to say. <laughs> 1 uh, out of 10. 1 out of 10. See, this is... Be, so, for me personally, movies are different than TV shows, so don't take this as i think it's better than <laughs> my name is earl <laughs> <laughs> I know, uh, but uh honestly creed 3 i would put it at like a solid eight solid eight okay and okay okay i can see that but i would still watch my name is earl more than creed 3 just letting you know that now okay <laughs> i'm gonna go with you on the eight i agree with you i, so I give it an eight out of ten it's overall is eight it's overall it's overall is an eight baby and uh, uh, yeah we'll probably never see a ten <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. I want to get. I I hope eventually. You know, we get more comfortable with this, and I hope we get to a big a disagreement. I hope so too. But we need to do that. We need to be. It, it also needs to be movies we don't like, or that one of us likes and the other doesn't. Or I something. Know we have them, but I just can't think of it. I who mean, want we could do the next one about iPhone versus Android. Oh my. <laughs> God, just no. start a fist fight right here. <laughs> know, uh, like the old cartoons. <laughs> but no, um, final thing. Should you watch it? Yes. Yes. Uh, isn't it like one of the biggest movie releases since? Or like for this year? Not, I, I'm not too sure. No. That but I do been. know that literally people are people have been saying like oh like you know m- movie theaters are dying and maybe that is true on paper but like <laughs> dude when we went there was super, a shit ton of people superhero movies are on a decline and literally creed 3 had its biggest franchise opening scream 6 is its biggest franchise 
opening John Wick 4, you know what I mean? So it's not that it, – it, it, there's a lot into it. And I fucking love superhero movies. I'm going to go see Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I think that's going to be the Dude, the savior. last one. That I, breaks my heart. Low I key. think Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is going to be the savior. Wait, do you, you like Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah. One and two? Yeah. Dude, let's go fucking see three. And literally right after we see it, come over here and review it. I'm down. And then post it the next day. I'm down. So that way it's super relevant. Dude, Groot is supposed to be all yoked in this one. I was so excited for that. You know, in this one, he actually gets in a Dodge Challenger and just drives off and dies. Are you fucking with me right now? Because I... <laughs> the whole time it's all about family. Because you know who plays Groot, right? <laughs> yes. Vin Diesel. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Oh. Oh, we could get into it about Fast and the Furious. Which one? All of them. The, that's going to be a fucking action-packed I'll episode. Fight you. So anyways, guys. <laughs> Creed 3, totally fucking watch it. Believe it or not, you don't have to watch 1 or 2 to watch 3. You really don't. It's actually, that's crazy. It's a very think. solid standalone. Yeah, it's it's a solid movie, guys. I would totally watch it. Because even, even without watching 1 and 2, 3 kind of explains some things that happen in 1 and 2. Yeah, and it doesn't need it, like, too much. Yeah. It would be funny if, if Rocky was in Creed 3 and he gets cracked by Damien. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fuck kills him. I know he would. <laughs> or no, Rocky sides with him. Oh, that'd be crazy. Ah, that would be but so out of that'd be out of character. Rocky's like, yeah, you did do him dirty. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, yeah, kid, I would never do my friends dirty. <laughs> he, he's all like, he was like, your dad gave me a chance when I was his age. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, guys, this has been Review Box. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs> see. Like always. Until next time.